Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, I'm gonna try a new thing here, just kind of, kind of a an essay sort of thing, just to get some thoughts out. And maybe try a new type of video. I don't know. I don't know. These videos do okay on on YouTube, right? So <laughs> let's give it a shot. Anyway, before I begin, I'm just gonna preface this by saying that I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan out there. I'm casual. Uh, I enjoyed the prequels, which a lot of people will probably hate. <laughs> The originals, they were great to uh, watch and learn about the fundamentals of the whole Star Wars story. I really enjoyed those too, it was dope. Uh, the last trilogy that just passed, I wasn't really into. Uh, I, I've seen the first two, shit, I can't even remember the, the numbers of them. The last one, I fell asleep in the middle of it. I'm just pissed off that they killed off Luke in that way, but anyway, that being said, I'm going to loosely use the concept of Jedi's and Siths to explain why the dark side isn't that bad. So on one side you have the Jedi who believe you must self-sacrifice, you must keep the peace, let go of your own emotions and do what needs to be done so that life can flourish in a harmonious way, be as selfless, selfless as you can. On the other end you have the Sith who believe that power should be attained at any cost. Death and destruction, yeah, not only a part of life, but uh, it's kind of exciting and thrilling. Emotions, you know, you give in to those emotions. You know, you let your emotions drive you. The more selfish you can be, the better. This is a very good versus evil perspective. It's very black and white. Choose a side. You're either for good or you're for evil. Personally, I am for good. I believe that life is better when we are kinder to people because our kindness causes a ripple effect that spreads farther uh, than the initial act of kindness. I guess the same thing works for evil as well, but uh, uh, that being said, I don't think I would have this deep appreciation for the light if I never took a walk through the dark. This is why I believe that the dark side of the force is highly useful. And I'm gonna discuss a few reasons I recommend studying the dark side. So the first reason that you should study the dark side is that to have the greatest understanding of the force, you must become familiar with as many facets of it as you can. If you want to attain the strength and ability to vanquish the darkness, you must know what makes the darkness tick. When you know evil, when you get to know evil, you learn how to keep it in check. In real life, this could mean facing your fears head on. People struggle, emotion, uh, people struggle emotionally and end up doing incredibly evil and dark side of the force things because they're afraid to deal with their own emotions. Fear of the dark can be just as treacherous as the intentional wielding of dark energies. Those locked in fear are easy to manipulate and thus are already slaves to the dark side without even knowing it. If the fearful ones could become courageous and walk through their fears, walk through the dark, they would come out the other side stronger and be able to defeat dark energies in the future. Sometimes it takes a strong will to actually be able to do that. And it's really good to also have a good support system. It's funny, the support system doesn't even really need to be intentionally trying to support you. Cause like I've, being it through dark places and it's like no one was really there to help me through them but because I'm close to people who are pretty freaking cool I guess I fundamentally already had the strength to get through them so they were my support system <laughs> in that sense so I guess yeah having a good support system and just having a strong will it takes it takes that to get through the dark anyway the second reason um, one must study the dark side is because the dark side will always be here. It will always be around. Although we all come from one source, uh, we all come from the one force, we live in a universe that is propelled by opposites. We live in a duality in which opposites clash, fight, they contrast with each other in order for growth to occur. So to turn away from the dark side and refuse to acknowledge it, refuse to study it, is to ignore a large part of what is going on in the universe and how it works. Willful, willful ignorance is good to a degree. Like you don't, 
need to kill a person or sell drugs at an elementary school to gain suitable understanding of those subjects and the damage that they, they can cause, uh, but to dismiss every aspect of evil and pretend like it doesn't exist is silly and potentially harmful. To ignore the dark side and let it fester could cause uh, great calamity. Uh, study the dark side. Know that it's there and keep a cautiously optimistic eye on it. The third reason that the dark side is useful is that anger is motivating. Well, the right amount of anger is motivating. If we look at a spectrum of emotions, we could say that some emotions that resonate with the dark side are depression, fear, apathy, jealousy, and anger. Many people say that if you are depressed, smile, force yourself to be happy. Uh, on the emotional spectrum, happiness is like way, it's a way higher frequency than depression is. So that's a really big leap to make. However, anger resonates on a higher frequency that, than depression as well. And that leap is not so large. So when depressed, if you can't get happy, you can get angry. Getting angry will start leading you up the emotional spectrum again and have you well on your way to feeling happy once again. From depression, getting angry will get you moving. <laughs> Which is, yeah, it, it, gets you, it gets you riled up, you know? It's, it's, the trick is not to dwell on the anger too long or get stuck in that frequency. If you get stuck there, you can end up doing some really bad things. Um, so yeah, understand that and merely use anger as a jumping point to get to a higher frequency. You're trying to jumpstart yourself out of a lower frequency, which depression is. It's, it's really low. That's why you, you don't feel like moving. You don't feel like doing anything. Anyway, to clarify this point, uh, let's use a real world example. Imagine you're in a relationship with somebody that you really love. Suddenly, you find out that your partner cheated on you. Obviously, you can't stay with that person that has no respect for you, so you break it off. Even though they hurt you and that they were wrong, it leaves you feeling horribly depressed for weeks. But eventually, you're like, no, 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 no. You're not going to let this horrible event ruin your life. So you get angry. You get angry at them. All of a sudden, you're like, yo, what the? Yo, this person thinks they could do that to me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> So you get off your ass, you get out of bed, and like you start working out or something. The next time they see you, you're gonna be in fucking amazing shape. Uh, you're still pissed, so you're like, you know what? I'm gonna start, or uh, gonna continue writing that book that I left unfinished. The next time they see you, you're gonna be a published author. Eventually, the thought of them, it doesn't seem to anger you anymore. <laughs> After a while, you start to get distracted by these things. You have like way more important stuff to do than be angry o over some stupid crap that happened in the past. And then you start to feel hopeful and you start to feel motivated and your life starts to improve at a steady pace. It might seem a little weird, but anger used properly. Um, it must be given part of the thanks. You have to be appreciative of that anger. Understanding the dark side will help you understand how emotions work and thus how you can control them better. Uh, so one more reason and the fourth reason it is important to study not only the way of the Jedi but also the way of the dark side is you know how to use both sides to your advantage. Um, I guess I'm actually advocating for the gray Jedi here. I like the gray Jedi but I don't know too much about it. Uh, I don't know they can like use both sides. I don't know. It, it doesn't sound that bad, actually. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a good power to have. Uh, you have to be able to be a saint in some situations and like a badass in other situations. Both displays of each of these personalities has its benefits when used correctly. Uh, using some real world examples, it's probably best that you act like a saint in front of people who expect you to act like a saint and best to act like a, you know, more of a badass in front of people who expect you to act like more of a badass. To be, able, to be able to pull off both personalities convincingly, it takes understanding of a wide range of emotions and it takes a lot of self-awareness. 
Uh, for example, you can't roll into some tough biker bar and expect to strike up a conversation with the patrons there about the quilt that you were excited to be knitting for your grandma. You know, I don't think that would fly there. And just the same, you can't go visit your grandma, uh, like blowing cigarette smoke in her face and spitting on her rug and stuff like that and like flicking, flicking your cigarette <laughs> at, at her and stuff like that. You know, that wouldn't fly with your grandma. Obviously, there are like, there are obviously sensitive bikers out there who would love to talk about knitting. And there are also badass grandmas out there. But you know, it's just the general example. So yeah, so there. Uh, although I believe the light side is eternal and will always be the ultimate power and the ultimate winner for the sake of this discussion, I'm gonna conclude this video by saying the light side of the force has its strengths and weaknesses. The dark side of the force has its strengths and weaknesses. With caution, I'd say train in both of them. Get to know both sides. Use selfishness to create a greater selflessness. Uh, gain a deep awareness of self and of your surroundings. Seek the balance. Seek the balance between the two. All right, uh, that's gonna be it for that video. Thanks for hanging out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. GG.